Linda hasn't seen the bees down here. Let's see if they're still here or if they've left. I can watch that whole second. So that looks like wood there, but that's not that bees wax. That is like a wax door they've made over that hollow. You can see there. It's cold right now, so apparently they're down inside. The air being so cool today. It said leave a landing area right here in front. Leave an area all around like I did here. I could have probably got away with this just on four blocks like that. But since they recommended leaving a landing area, that's what I'm going to do. your water don't run back inside of there. So leave a little gap around the, the edge there. This is something I've been really, y'all can tell I've really jumped on it. I've been excited about it. I don't want to miss the opportunity of possibly catching this swarm. This would be the queen excluder. All right. I believe, I think they call this the super. Maybe if I have luck and you want to try it, maybe you'll have luck too. But you can at least see how I go on my journey. I'm stacking this out here today, but doesn't mean that it's ready. There's things that I need to get and put in here probably to attract them. Um, I've seen several different methods people have been sharing. We happen to have a subscriber that is a long, long time beekeeper. And uh, it's Jim, and he is sharing some amazing information with me as well. So uh, I'm really gonna listen to him too, because He's uh, a very light-minded person, and he's got a long life history of doing this. I wish he was here to help me, to be honest. So this is the lid. Put this on right there. Now, if I have this right, I could be wrong. But supposedly you can make another box, another tray box, or you want to call it, on top right here. And it looked, with a lid similar to this, but you can cut holes in it and turn it up, turn uh, bottles with uh, like a nectar, like um, you can you can mix up some pollen and uh, just a little cocktail for them to feed on and punch you some tiny little holes in a lid, turn it upside down and you would be able to put it, it would look similar to this, only it would be up here and it would have a box to protect it and that would help feed them up here to begin with. I may look at doing that. I kind of like that idea. Uh, anybody can share though. Anybody can share. I'll tell you another thing that I've, I've learned that I'm gonna order and it's a beetle trap. They sit down in the south, but more down in the south, that beetles will try to disturb these bees in coming here. And it's a little black tray. It's clear actually at the top of its black and it'll sit down between these and you'll put like a vegetable oil in it and those bees will chase that beetle and it'll fall down in there and that beetle will drown in that oil so um, i definitely want to order those i'm going to check that out jim if you're watching this you tell me is that a good choice you should know sir so that's the top lid as far as the cut inner cover and this is the top lid i don't have this thing ready for them right now unless by pure luck because of this thing already pre um i'll show here these these are already uh, pre like uh, impregnated with a sticky honey they smell just like honey mm. and so it's supposed to be an attractant already 
to bring them to it. It may be. Uh, I might just get lucky, but I want to not just try my luck. I want to really do everything I can to make sure that I get a brood to come here. And so, uh, so I want to increase my chances greatly without having to just order a hive, being that there's some bees right here in this tree. Maybe I'm about 30 foot away from it. Another thing that I'm trying to learn about is that they say you can notch this up here, put notches in, especially we're in a hot climate here and it'll help get more air circulating up through. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to, before I would just jump and do something like that, notch it and damage it, I want to really verify that. So uh, once again, any of my beekeeper friends that have experience with this on this top lid, up here by this I guess you call the super uh, should I notch this right here in a few places as it says um, and some tips that I've seen by some other beekeepers but y'all tell me I want to hear from my subscribers and should I notch that for air to come in that's another thing I want to know right there all right so I got that lid on here and I'm gonna put a couple uh, these center block pads to weight it down with the high winds that come. Plus if something like a raccoon or anything like that wanted to get the messing around, it'd be kind of heavy for them. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. And we are going to put cattle panels around it. So again, here we are to that piece that they did not even list on the packing list and didn't tell what this was. But thanks to a, another YouTuber out there, with a beginner video I saw this he didn't really talk about it he just said this spot right here is for him to go in during the winter and all and it instantly made sense to me without him going into any more detail this goes down here but it's got to be trimmed off it's about 3 16 too long they kind of messed up right there so I need to whittle this down just a little bit and then it'll fit all the way down in there and this little small hole is supposed to be for winter time to keep cool air out and then the bigger hole like this is for summertime to where more air can flow up through there and more bees going in and out while they're busy so that's the way I understand it sorry they're not holding real steady so that's the way I understand it right there and this has no coating on it at all right now they uh, they missed it I guess and they didn't finish sizing it so I got my pocket knife with me I'm just gonna see if I can whittle it a little bit instead of going all the way back to the house to fit that so I'm just got my good old case pocket knife with me yeah I'm gonna just try to whittle that off it's a nice thing having a good blade Splinted it there just a little bit. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. See if I got enough off there yet. If not, I'll take another layer. Oh, I got it perfect. Perfect. First time I'm in a snug fit. Did a good job. And I don't know. I guess you put it. I'll tell you what, I want to turn that around. I don't want to give them a false place there thinking to go. I'd rather it be like this and put that that okay well no I'm still doing it wrong this is the winter cut so I actually had it right the first time yeah the first it, time yeah I want it like this and I want that big hole which should be for the rest of the year like that right there now that should be correct <laughs> hope all this goes well all y'all that have been supporting me on this so far, I really appreciate it. And I enjoy your continued support of giving me advice. I tell you, all of it will uh, be taken in, I guarantee you. Well, I got me a kind of like a round cage made around it. be honest, I wish I'd either brought one or two more panels. Made the area a little bit bigger. Definitely going to bring another post and put it at the back. So I don't want these cows pushing in there and destroying it. I... 
thing about really tame cattle is that they're also really curious cattle. So uh, they might smell the sweetness of that honey too and it attract them. So I'm gonna head down here in the morning with another T post and add at least one more in right there on that back side. Okay, I do see them in there, yeah. Right inside those holes, I can see them in there working. Oh yeah, they are busy in there. Let's see if I can zoom. Oh, there you go. 